Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 10 build to look at This is 18990 This is for Windows Insiders on the fast ring And this is a 20H1 build Just a couple of changes to show you in this video And the first one is around the restarting of uh, UWP apps or the modern apps after a restart So let's go into settings and check that and There's the setting Automatic restart Save my restartable apps when I sign out and sign back in again. That was introduced a while ago. Well, that's the setting and UWP apps is the new thing that it should restart those things like the feedback app. There are performance improvements for the Windows subsystems for Linux uh, with this build as well. And the rest of them are fairly minor. There is some, some more details about doing the reset option. Let me show you the, the option. So when you do a reset now, you've got one of the options that was introduced a while ago is um, is from the cloud. It's choosing from the cloud, and uh, they, there you go. You can see the you can so that brings down a clean set of data from the cloud and uh, rebuilds your Windows image. And uh, they've done a blog post with uh, they created a blog post with details of how that works. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give this a try actually at some point and see I don't really want to reset this machine but uh, this is my test machine but I'm going to try that and see how well it works the rest of the changes were all fairly minor uh, they fixed some search issues they fixed some issues where Action Center wouldn't click, click correctly when you did, or wouldn't respond when you clicked on it uh, that's working okay uh, they fixed some DPI issues with magnifier. There's a lot of narrator fixes in this, and uh, they've also fixed some language issues with Chinese language and things like that. There's still some known issues. 2D apps uh, in Windows Mixed Reality don't capture because it thinks they're protected. So feedback hub or the store it won't capture. So when you're trying to record that, you can't do that. Um, there's still an issue with. There's uh, optional drivers in Windows Update. It shows you some older drivers available, and they'll fail. And uh, devices configured for dual scan from WUS and Windows Updates may be offered new builds from the well, may not be offered new builds from the fast ring. So this is when you go and do a an update. If you're controlled by a WUS server, you might not get the new build. Uh, and they're working on that to fix that and that's actually the only, only the known issue the, the known issues they don't mention the uh, well, anti-cheat software I think they've retired that issue just knowing that you need to update your software if you have got anti-cheat software that doesn't work so those are the changes of this build not a huge amount of changes but nice incremental features uh, you can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com uh, you can subscribe if you like the video and you can find me on twitter at isdixon thanks for watching